like I told y'all, the world of AI is just getting crazier. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I was able to create a sneaker bot 100% free, 100% from scratch, using ChatGPT to teach me everything I needed to know to build it. Hey, what up, man? It's your boy Rico. If you wanna learn how to do different side hustles, how to make money online, then follow me on YouTube for more. Let's get it. All right, and so you know, I always say that ChatGPT should be used as something, think of as not as something that by itself is gonna accelerate us, but something that we can use to accelerate us. And I'ma just tell you off the bat, bro, with building this bot, I was able to Number one, learn a programming language that is pretty complicated to learn and to create something that honestly, sneaker bots cost a lot of money, bro. So before we even get on the computer, I just wanna drive that home, bro. This is the power of AI. This is the power of ChatGPT. Uh, learning, creating, the world is about to change. So let's jump on the computer and build this bot. Oh, this video is for educational purposes only. I have no intention of using this bot. All right, so you open chat GPT over here and I'm gonna tell you right now that the language that I wrote this bot on is Python, right? So I'm gonna just try to educate you like I did um, because I ultimately came in here first and I asked what's the best way to build a bot a sneaker bot and it's gonna tell me the answer boom all right so it wrote me out this a uh, something similar right and the thing that stood out to me was this now i have a decent understanding of programming language but basically i understood that okay i'm gonna have to learn some python right so um i'm gonna tell it can you teach me about python and how it can be used okay so it pretty much let me know everything i needed to know about python so the next thing i did was i thought about it and i said okay cool i'm a learn as you go person and so I want to test this, right? I want to see um, how that works, right? And so what I found out later on was that a, a program called Visual Code Studio is what I'm going to use to do this, right? And so I'm going to just give you some free game about coding and development, period. And that is you're always going to set it up on a folder system, right? Any website is just a series of folders. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this Rico's sneakers bot v1 right and i'm gonna place this in here i'm gonna open a new file in visual studio code and it's actually telling me boom okay you can do a python file so i'm gonna open that and now i have an open python file so i'm gonna come over here and save this and we're gonna do save as we're gonna save it to that folder we just created on our desktop rico sneakers bot and we're gonna call this hello world test all right and so now I'm gonna copy that code in, right? I'm gonna run this by pressing play and see, boom, it's returned us hello world. So we could, ed we could edit this just so you don't think that it's standard and you could say, print what up YouTube viewers, right? And then hit play and then boom, you'll see it right here, what up YouTube viewers. So now we know that Jet GPT can definitely create us some code right but we're gonna take this to another window which is off camera all right so now that we know that and we know chat gpt can definitely create us some code now we got to think of this from the perspective of just building a bot and what we would need right so up here up here it kind of told us that it would need to know the website the website's architecture and stuff like that and so that's the first thing we're going to start with right we're going to come to sneakers.com waiting on it to load all right and in order to do this, we gotta go with something that's already in stock because we need to be able to see everything on the page, right? And so this is just the power and you, we also need to be documenting um, how we're gonna ask ChatGPT because we need to be as detailed as possible, right? So I'm just gonna take, right? So I'll just pick, I'll just pick this. This has got a bunch of available sizes and i'm gonna teach y'all a little bit i'm gonna teach y'all something else in chat if you ask chat gpt it'll tell you but i'm gonna tell you right now if you're on chrome and you right click and hit inspect it'll open up that page for you right and so pretty much what we needed to do we, we need to get here and i'll explain more later but we pretty much need to be here so anyway we're gonna simulate what a person would do if if they were doing this manually because that's what a bot does right and so you know what you would do you'd get to this page you'd kind of scroll down a little bit you select the size and then you would hit buy right and so so now it's time to start just ask just start compiling that in chat gpt so i'm going to take this link right here and i'm going to say i learned this from another like from a python coach so i'm going to do it like this too 
I'm gonna tell it scrape this website, right? And then I'm gonna paste that in, right? And then I'm gonna tell it right to, to write that in Python and I'm gonna say, right? And then I'm gonna say with Python and Celine EM, which they know what I mean. I, I'm sure I butchered that word, but they know what I mean with Selenium, with Python and Selenium. Then I'm gonna do another prompt just to kind of tell it what to do, right? Because now we know um, we wanna wait for the page to load. We want to make it scroll down, right? Because you, we've gotta simulate human activity. And then we've got, we want it to scroll down to pick a size, right? And then we want it to hit the buy button, right? And so now, remember I put this in inspect mode. So now we need to use that. So the first thing we told it to do was wait for the page to load. It'll write the write us the script for that. Then it'll say, make it scroll down to pick a size. I'm actually gonna separate that now because how literal you have to get, make it scroll down, wait three seconds, then pick a size, then select the buy button, all right? And so, boom, to pick a size. Now we have to tell it what to do to pick a size, right? And this is where having a little code knowledge is going to help, right? So I'm gonna come over here to inspect. And I'm gonna select the element on the page. So the first thing we wanna do is select a size, right? And let's say that size is 11, right? 11 and a half. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna look and see what is unique about this button as far as in the code. So I'm gonna go type button, size grid, drop down, size grid. So what I've gotta do is specify and tell it to select and locate the button with class I'll go side grid size grid button I'm gonna you're gonna all you're gonna most of the time put that in quotes right and then I can even specify and say with the string 11 and a half inside of it to select the size then I want it to locate now we got to go find this same stuff on the buy button is that the only div called that is there any other there's got it that's got to be the only so i'm going to select that class which is that long class right there and i'm going to say then i wanted to locate the class the button with class to select the buy button right and you can and let me let me say you can do this exact same thing to go further in the process but this is just me showing you how chat gpt can do all of this for you right but uh i don't want to be unethical or anything like that by going through billing and um credit card details and all that type of stuff so i'm just showing you how you can set this up and actually build this right so i want you to turn the message account entered right and so now it's gonna literally build that up boom and it wrote the script all right and now um we're gonna go ahead and run that script right so we're gonna go to visual code again right we're gonna open my folder because i want to be able to work in that folder in here yes i trust the authors i'm the author right and then i'm gonna actually make a new file and call this bot b1 dot py right and i'm gonna copy all i'm gonna paste that code in right and then we're gonna run it right and wait i gotta save it first and then run it all right i'm, I'm gonna terminate this so two things right and this is this is all a part of our learning right this is all a part of our learning process so we're gonna come back to chat gpt and say and honestly i know this but what you would do is tell chat gpt literally hey can you change this to make my default browser fire or chrome right and i'm gonna see if i could just change it to chrome and see if i can do it that way or if it's gonna do it how it wants right so it's running my script all right that's a chrome browser and now it's running right boom and now it says can't follow this by expat so what you literally do is come in here and you take your error and you come back to chat GPT and you paste your error in and it'll tell you what's wrong and then it'll fix it for me. All right, and now, so I'm gonna grab this code, update it in visual code and I'm gonna save it and then run it. And actually I did not go, so I'm gonna change it back to Chrome here, right? And then I'm gonna run it. And it still gave me an error and let's see, let's once again go paste that back in and tell, ask GPT what's wrong. And so you see, this is, bro, this is high level, like, this is high level debugging. This is, people get paid a lot of money to do what ChatGPT is doing for us right now. Oh, you know what? So I think I might, I may as well. Can you update the code in it in 
Chrome instead of Firefox. Cause I, I should have specified that in the um in the beginning. And then sometimes, bro, it'll just break. So I'll do, can you finish the code? Sometimes it'll just stop. All right, and so we had ChatGPT adjust this code. So we're gonna try to run it now. And it's running. So far, so good. Boom, and it let us know the account was entered. And now it's just probably gonna loop and try to do it again. So right now, you can see that ChatGPT could just be used for a lot. Before I let y'all go, I wanna show y'all one more thing, just another way that I've found out how to use this to accelerate even my sneaker reselling career. And let me see if this is the correct version of the code. It's called Panda Scrape. And what I did was I made it go to eBay, right? filter by sold and then let me know all the sold listings of the pandas and then the average price for the last listings right so bro let me know in the comments if y'all want to learn how to build this bot man it's your boy rico i'm out let's get it